we don't promote, pr promote positive and, 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 and ownership of your company, I, I'm making it cool to be to be small. corporations like me. My particular experience with Beam Centauri, it was great in the beginning. It's great for us to work for them. It is not so cool when you start to own things. You see what I'm saying? So I made a lot of money with them too. Like there's a point they, they did a deal that mirrored what Puffy's deal with Diageo was for Syrah. So he didn't have ownership of that at any point, but he was getting a lot of money, like almost like $60 million a year at one point. So you see him go to Daily on is when you see him have some issues. And these people have really strong relationships. Don't think that the civil case doesn't turn into a criminal case faster because he's making that them uncomfortable. That's a big part of it. The spirits business is it's not government. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's being there. Welcome to Who's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance. It's cool to be smart. On today's episode, man, we're gonna be talking about Curtis 50 Cent Jackson saying Diddy's lawsuit on Diageo is what turned his civil case into a criminal case, man. Let's talk about it. So y'all heard 50 Cent, man, speaking at Invest Fest, man. Um, shout out to Earn Your Leisure and he was just kind of pointing out something, you know, that he, you know, noticed being higher up, you know, on that business chain, man. You know, when you're playing for big stakes, man, it's 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 a lot on the line, you know. So he was speaking on Diddy case and he was saying once that civil case and this was before the indictment even came. 50 Cent was saying, like, don't be shocked when you see, you know, those civil charges turn into criminal charges faster. You know what I'm saying? Because of Diageo and the relationships that they have. Right? So we're talking about, you know, centuries old companies, man, that were around before Prohibition and during Prohibition. You know what I'm saying? These is real gangsters, real mob ties. Like, for real, for real. And, of course, they got ties to the federal government. You know what I mean? Like, they were they were working with the government during Prohibition time. These These people have really strong relationships with the feds right and just all over politicians in general so pretty much what he was alluding to is that as y'all all know or anybody that doesn't know diddy was a uh, ambassador for diageo's brand Ciroc. right diddy never had ownership of Ciroc. He, he never owned anything on Ciroc. they would just give him like points per every case that he would move right so he'd get a small percentage you know based on however many cases you know that were moving right um but not actual ownership in diageo of course they wouldn't allow nothing like that right so he was making a lot of money during that time like 50 said he was getting about 60 million a year you know what i mean a lot of people the big portion of diddy's wealth came from that Ciroc run you see what I'm saying? You got to think about that. 60 million a year. Ciroc had at least about a good 8 to 10 year run. You see what I'm saying? Like it, they had a, you know, they was really popping from like 2010, maybe to like 2017, 18, maybe even 2020, somewhere around there. Before it really started to fizzle out, they, Ciroc had a big run, right? So he's making money hand over foot, right? Diddy wanted ownership, right? So he started Daily on Tequila under Diageo. Y'all started to see him make that push towards Daily on. Like, man, get this Daily on, you know, Daily on Tequila, Daily on Tequila, right? But he was saying that Diageo wasn't putting the same marketing dollars behind Daily on as they were behind Ciroc. So with Daily on, he owned 50% of Daily on Tequila, right? So he owns 50% of Daily on Tequila. He owns no percentage of Ciroc or Diageo, right? So, of course, I mean, they just doing business. This is what happens when you're under someone, right? When you're under someone, when you work for someone, right? If, they're, if they get their biggest dollars from Ciroc because they own 100% of it, but they got to spend the marketing money to get uh, Daily On popping, and got to cut you in on half the proceeds because you own half of it. Of course, they're going to be more geared towards a rock. You know what I'm saying? That's just them protecting their bottom line. Right. And they probably already feel like, bro, you didn't pretty much became a billionaire with us. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just going to have to take it light. So really, in that situation, if you just want me to be 100 percent honest, 
that he probably might have needed to invest in some more of his own money into it if he really wanted to get it off the ground and they were trying to promote it like it wasn't a luxurious brand like it was like a hood brand so you know diddy took offense to that and he sued for racial discrimination right and when he sued for racial discrimination they actually the case you know he ended up dropping the case but the case was going through the filings of court right because he actually had a case like he had a case so that you know the judge was listening to him and he was going through court but that's when you started to see the legal issues come because diddy Sirac had lost you know millions and me tens of millions if not hundreds of millions of dollars right because of diddy not promoting the brand and him speaking bad on you know diageo and that Ciroc brand and pretty much their whole deal it cost them to lose a lot of money and it hurt their bottom line and sure enough they just waited for one instance and that one instance was when cassie came out with that lawsuit right and they allowed it to go public right diddy should have just paid her knowing he was paying this is chess not checkers when you play do business on the highest settings man you got to know you playing chess he let that get out to the public and leak to the public and then the fact that he let it leak to the public he settled it in one day he settled it in one day less than 24 hours that sent off red flags where it smoked there's fire the feds went and investigated right because what 50 is saying is Diageo using their relationships to get that turned into a criminal case. Right? So this is, you know, what's going on in regards to this. Now, do I can two things be true? Let's be real. Can two things be true? Yes. Could Diddy have been doing crazy wild stuff at the mansion parties? Yes. Y'all hear all them different security guards and the gene deals and the big homie cc's and all of these different guys y'all hear them talk about all the different stuff that go on at these parties and the different stuff that they see as security right i will say this i never heard gene deal say he saw puff forcibly make any woman do anything i never heard gene deal say diddy was drugging chicks and doing this x y and z never heard that was he saying that he was messing with dudes? Yes. Was he saying that he was on some swinger stuff? Yes. He was saying that. But he never said that he seen them forcibly do anything to anybody. Right? So, you got to take that into consideration. Right? You got to take that into consideration. So, I don't know what Puff has done. I know he assaulted Cassie. And I'm not okay with that. And if they want to throw him in jail for you know battery or domestic violence or whatever they want to call that right like i'm all for that because that's wrong you don't beat on no woman like that and she wasn't fighting back i mean not even that you just don't put your hands on no woman i'm a big you know proponent for that like no that's a no-no so but you know all that other stuff we gonna see they gonna fight that in court and we gonna see you know what i mean like but could he be doing wild stuff in there yes that could be true could it also be true that diageo used a power and used a connections and relationships to get his case look how fast that turn went from a civil case to a federal indictment just pay attention to that we can't i'm not one of the type of people that's like blind to the facts like i can kind of see i i can see that like okay that went from a civil case to a federal case really fast sometimes people can push that button and it look like the button been then been pushed but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man y'all tell me what y'all think man it's the guy who's being their big favor big abundance it's cool to be smart don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy who's being their big favor big abundance i'm gone